Hey guys and welcome to the Scale. So in this video I'm about to tell you that you can get traffic and rankings by doing the complete opposite of what everybody else is doing. So everybody in their mind, as far as SEO is concerned, are telling you to fight for a Google AI overuse. But for many niche sites that's a losing game, that means zero traffic. So I kind of approach this from a different angle, at least for this video. I created a guide, <laughs> which is basically keywords that you need to target to avoid AI overuse. In the first part of this video, we'll just go over what kind of keywords you need to stop competing for the AI overviews. And then I'll show you how to rank for those keywords and how to write articles that rank. First things first, this is the context that we are dealing with. Almost 98% of information queries trigger AI overviews. On the other hand, only 8% of commercial intent trigger AI overviews. When it comes to branded and transactional, it's sub 5%. And the comparison keywords, your regular versus keywords, only 15%. So I would rather go for the comparison keywords, branded keywords and commercial intent keywords, than competing for the information queries that are going to get dominated by AI search. This is also an interesting piece of statistics saying that the longer your keyword is, the more it gets dominated by AI overuse. So one, two words, 25%. Three to four words, it goes up to 45%. Then five to seven words, 73%. And finally, 85%, eight word queries. So your typical queries that trigger a lot of AI overuse are how to, what is, why and when, problem solving queries, five word queries. Some niches tend to trigger AI overuse more like YYL, health and finance, technical explanations. Lots of educational content is currently delivered by AI overuse. On the other hand, branded and transactional keywords, again, sub 5%. The examples would be buy, brand name online, brand discount code, order, promo code, free shipping. So all those websites that thrive on coupon codes and discount codes are actually neglected by AI overviews that are competing with AI overviews. Then you have your direct purchase terms like buy product now, purchase product, order products, shop product online. Then of course, lots of local commercial keywords are not competing with AI overviews. Services near me, products in city name, services plus location, product plus store. And the same goes for price deal focus keywords. Product price, cheap product, product deals, best price. And the reason why these keywords work and why you should be targeting these keywords not only to avoid A overuse, but also to target commercial intent. Google recognizes these terms, signal users ready to buy, not seeking information. The users want to go directly to merchant sites, not read summaries. Geographic modifiers indicate local intents that AI cannot often address. Now, another array of keywords that are very lucrative as far as A overuse avoidance is your comparison versus keywords. So you, those would be your brand versus competitor. Why choose your brand over alternative product A versus product B, price and comparison. And even when you get those AI overviews, they're usually very slim, not very detailed, and usually do not provide any value. Because when you're comparing the two products, you want to know the verdicts, you want to know the pros and cons, you want to know the technical side of things, you want to know experiences with those products by users, and AA overuse just don't handle that very well. This is a summary going from lowest to highest. Branded and transactional keywords do not activate a lot of A overuse. Same goes for direct purchase terms. Low commercial price deal keywords, then comparison is kind of a happy medium. And then your question-based queries, long-term information queries are dominated by AI overviews a lot. So let me give you a concrete example. Let me go into an incognito mode. This is a keyword that I got from Google Search Console. And Google Search Console is just one of the eight methods that we teach inside of the rapid ranking system. This one here. I even have a free tool called Google Search Console Keyword Analyzer that can help you with that. And our students are actually ranking left, right, and center within 24 and 84 hours, usually. So this is the keyword. Let's switch to English. As you can see, this is the first result, then medium, and then my article that I posted one day ago. 
and I got this ranking eight hours from the day I published the article. There are a few interesting things about this article that I will not go into much detail in this video. Let's just demonstrate. This is the article. You get a very quick answer, which is a quick verdict. You go over your testing methodology, comparison, in-depth tool review, which is in-depth review one, in-depth review two, performance breakdown, some of the reasons you may want to choose either of those tools, user experiences, price, and price comparison, and this is a humongous FAQ accordion section. Again, if you want me to tell you why I'm using this in this very specific format, let me know. But again, this is a separate video and you even have an interactive element, uh, which is a quiz. What's your primary content goal? SEO content. Then Koala is the best fit and stuff like that. And the final verdict as well. So this article was able to rank in eight hours and you might have noticed that there is no AI overview. This is a featured snippet of sorts, but there is no AI overview that is being triggered. And the same goes for many, many versus keywords that I've come across recently. Now to write this specific article, you need to go to our GenSpark Academy and use what I call a roundup article. And people are creating crazy articles with this roundup prompt, which is SEO optimized to the extreme, which is very helpful, contains unique research, and you can probably agree that this is the best article on the topic that currently exists in the SERPs and we teach that inside of our school community. So to sum up, sometimes you would want to actually avoid AA overuse, especially if you're in your website, meaning that you need to avoid information queries, go for the mid-funnel and bottom funnel keywords. One of the better examples of those keywords that don't trigger AA overuse is the comparison keywords. You can find these keywords using our Google Search Console method. Also, you can use our free Google Search Keyword Analyzer tool. All you have to do is download your data from Google Search Console and insert it here. And this is the kind of data you can get. You can sort by impression, by position, by CTR. You have pre-built filters like quick wins, like zero-click queries, like first-page climbers, like question-based keywords. So this is an amazing free tool and I use that to uncover my versus keyword. And then you write an article that is SEO optimized and ranks in 10 hours. If you want more videos like this one, give me a like, give me a comment. If you are serious about ranking in 24 hours or 48 hours, join my school community from niche selection to choosing the right keywords to actually writing your content. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon. Cheers.